What's up guys, my name is Ray and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. In today's video, I want to talk about high investment characters. So first of all, I want to clarify things. What are high investment characters? So high investment characters are characters that enable their full potential or that enable their potential in the game if you invest all your resources into everything that they need. So that means you really have to maximize weapons, artifacts, talents and ascend their characters to level 80 minimum that's for uh, some characters the case and yeah i want to showcase you off which or some of these characters and then i want to pick i would say one of them to show you off the examples um, on their ability so i don't want to talk about every character but i want to talk about characters that really need a high investment to function now i think straightforward number one of the high investment characters or um oh i think there's one character missing here yeah there there's clearly one character missing in the archive all right so i think zhang li is missing here other than that i think all the other characters are in the archive system now yeah Zhang Li is one of those characters that is missing in the archive system. Let's let's do it like or let's do the default version. All right. So a high investment characters, or oh, in my opinion, um, I think there are like characters that are in the middle. That are characters that are, aren't too far away from those but i really want to talk about characters that enable full potential if you do full investment on them so i would say um one of them is definitely Jean. Jean will do very well for you if you're all under adventure rank 40 but as soon as you're like adventure rank 40 45 she won't do well anymore except for her healing potential but Jean can do so much she can she have a lot of burst in her E ability and she has a very strong ultimate that also does a lot of damage it can heal you it can cleanse you but to make um everything have a place in your team you really have to invest in her to make damage other than that she can of course function just as a crowd control character in your team but you have to invest in her to make everything work another high investment character definitely is ning wang so you did see a lot of those videos where ning wang did a lot of damage like i don't know 3k per hit or 4 5k per hit even more than that then it is always like a level 80 or level 90 ning wang with maximized artifacts super strong weapon five star weapon constellation so constellation does also count in that and it does really matter on all those things because if you want to make Ningguang work, you really have to invest in her. So I did uh, have a lot of people or a lot of friends that tested Ningguang out, but they couldn't make her work because they don't didn't want to commit too hard on her since you really have to invest in all her abilities and all her constellations and so on to make her work. Then the next one that I want to talk about that is not here on this list is definitely Zhang Li. Zhang Li, the character that got the most hate in the last couple of weeks. So I was able to make him function, but just with all my investment. So the current set that I am, for example, using for him is a Cake Petra Retracing Bowline. So he's hitting like 40k on crit with a 40% crit damage so not too high so for Jean Li you really want to have very good artifacts so you want to really have um like 2k ish attack a very high amount of HP so 23,000 is like not that much so you want to let's say you have 25,000 plus HP on him and you want to have a minimum of 50% crit rate and 100% crit damage to make him function. You need a bit of energy recharge. You do not need a lot, but because of his stone seal doesn't give you elemental particles consistently enough, you want to have energy recharge on this character to make him function. Then, of course, geo damage uh, does increase while ascending the character. He really profits from that because he doesn't need it. You really have to invest in it. 
even if it only makes out like 7%, you really need those 7%. Other than that, his talent, so you can see that my planet before is 7%. This does scale very hard into the later stages of the game. So you can see it has like a nearly 70% multiplier, leveling it up from level 1 to level 6, but 0.1 second for petrification. I think in combat you do not um, feel a very significant difference on that, but you will feel a difference in this one. 70%, not a lot of characters have such a high multiplier on leveling up the talents. And it is like nearly 70% for each stage. So if you want to compare this with like Child, one of the strongest DPS in the game, if you want to look at his ultimate, he only has like a nearly 50% multiplier on his melee ability and a just like nearly 40% on his ranged. So of course he has all these multipliers and it scales off with his riptide and this is not the strongest thing on his ultimate but I just want to let you guys see that the multiplier does affect and it will stack up. So child will always get 50% like let's say this is 50% he will always get 50 50 50 so that means 150 in general but Zhongli will always get 70 70 70 so this will end up to having 210% in the end 60% more than child will have uh, let's say Jean Jean's ultimate is similar because it is a burst ultimate so she has like similar increases like child 40% it is like around the same number. So you will always have 40, 40, 40. Let's say you have it to level nine, then you will have 120% increase, while Jean-Li still has the 210% increase, which is like double the amount. So on that, I can see, uh, you can see that it scales off of the late game, because a lot of people would say, if you invest fully to one character, of course they will be stronger. But there are characters that profit more from high investment than other characters. That's the reason why I want to make another video with low investment characters. So if you want to check out low investment characters, so these are characters that will function with their full potential, even if you do not invest too much in those characters. Yeah. Um, I think there are definitely other characters that need investment to function. So for example, Beto, but Beto has not the same problems because she has the counter mechanic. The counter can enable a lot of damage even without investing too much in her. The same goes for like Kea. Kea does what he do even if you do not fully invest in his kit. Of course, he will get stronger, but I think there are other characters that get exponentially stronger. Shinyan, also a character that does need a lot of investment to function. But she has like different mechanics just alone because she is a fire character. She will function even without a lot of investment, even with a full commitment. Same goes for Razor, but Razor is also a character that does need a lot of investment since his build is physical damage. His ultimate does scale off with uh, attack speed, so you will need really profit from leveling up this character but i think it is still not as high as investing into ningguang as investing into zhang li um these two are think i think like number one on the spot if you really want to have or if you really want them to be strong you have to maximize those characters i think gene is like similar with razor so if you want to make gene work you have to invest in razor and gene to a similar amount so that's what i assume mona can function with um i think yeah you you have to at least level up her e and her ultimate to make her function but ascending your character just to level 60 i think this is not a very high investment to make mona function yeah other than that child is also a character that doesn't need that much investment you can build a team around child and he will work clearly fine same with Klee, just because she's from the fire element noel will need a lot of investment i think especially those geo characters need a lot of investment to work the same as the traveler if you use him as from the geo element so yeah um to sum this up i think uh that's already it these are my high investment characters, so characters that you can make work if you do put really all your resources into those characters. So look forward for my low investment characters. I think this is a bit more interesting for the most of you guys. And yes, see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe would help me out a lot. If you guys want to see more Genshin Impact content, videos should pop up on the screen now. Make sure to check them out and I thank you for your support.